Mm. All right, let's look for Kent Pierce. I think that was a good idea. We'll stay on the roads for you to give you a look inside the renovation that's going on on the Q-Bridge project. The project has been going on for years already, but there's still so much work that needs to be done out there. And now it's getting done even faster thanks to new technology. Kent Pierce, what a cool vantage point you have this morning on the bridge. <laughs> I'm trying. Can you see me? Can we you see, see me you. now? Can How could you. you not see me? Look at what I'm wearing <laughs> out here. How could I not show we up on camera? <laughs> Yeah, well, we're getting such a cool view out here because we're standing on the span that's not going to be open for another nine months yet. We're actually on the part that's connected to the east side of the Quinnipiac River. And back here, you can see one of the middle spans under construction. Because this is going to be a suspension bridge, they have to build outward from the towers with those supporting cables on them. So they start those towers, work their way outwards using some cool new technology um, to, to build this bit by bit and connect the various spans together in time for people to start traveling on this bridge in September of 2012. Joining me is a guy who works for one of the contractors working on the bridge. Walsh PCL is the contractor. Aaron Tubbs is the man who's joining us this morning. Good morning, Aaron. I'm already seeing people showing up to work. You guys work all kinds of crazy hours, I guess, when you're doing a project like this, right? Oh, yes. This uh, this project demands, you know, uh, it's it's certainly a six-day week schedule. Um, in some cases, during the summer months, we'll work a double shift. So we'll be here day and night. And uh, that's the way it'll be until we open it up in sometime in 2015. Now, when you're pouring concrete, you know, working out here above the river like this, it's got to be very weather dependent, I would assume. We've had a nice mild December. Is that helping you? Absolutely. We've been uh, we've been we've been lucky with Mother Nature this this December. The temperatures have stayed nice for us, and we've been able to pour a lot of concrete in, in good conditions uh, the last several months. And real quick, let's talk about slip forming what's building the thing that's going to be poured on top of the green uh, structure we see back there. This is basically the, not guardrails exactly, they sort of look like what we call Jersey barriers that are going to form the side of the bridges. But you do that in a way that we haven't seen in Connecticut before. Sure. We uh, approached the state uh, a few months ago about uh, slip forming the barrier, which is basically it's still cast in place concrete on top of the reinforcement. But uh, instead of using traditional forms to contain the concrete, we pour it at a lower slump and use a machine and, uh, and and basically just what it says we slip form it's a continuous continuous process all right I, I know that it, it might not make a lot of sense to you but it means that they can do it a lot a lot faster which is keeping this project on schedule for us to be driving across this bridge in September of this coming year now if you want to see that slip forming thing we're gonna get some shots of that a little later in the day so watch at noon I'm um, at five or six tonight and you can see that in action and see the new technology that is helping them stay on schedule for this project. We're live on top of what will someday be the Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge. I'm Ken Pierce, News 8.